Alright, what is up you guys? Of course, always welcome back to another well OU battle really versus Caden. And dude, yeah, keeps going with the uh, rain team. I've been kind of um, having some like mixed results, but I've been doing good. But also have so many DCs with this team because uh, well, people don't necessarily appreciate it. So I'm kind of worried going into this battle. And um, worth worth, I really hope Caden knocks it out of the park. Yeah, instant regrets. Okay, <laughs> this is cool though. Um, I'm really really like leveling here ah this is this is rough i do see uh, uh, trying to convince myself i have a set opportunity with uh, rygar i mean i kind of do i want to activate unburden and then just get as much damage as possible but the way i see it like i don't deal at all well with pokemon such as mew and for me, my easiest and toughest lead is actually lead off with Dynamo. And then basically, I'm really, 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 really pressure with any type of rain capabilities that I got. And since we play in Uber, apparently, uh, I can always Dynamax. And I have two Pokemon that really, really enjoy Dynamax in this game. And that is both Dreadnought and uh, Lodicolo. We'll see how that goes. Lee's always mute, that's alright. Um, I mean, not really, but I can see it being a stealth rocker. I can see it potentially going for flamethrower, being call mindset. And um, yeah, Thunderbolt is alright. Just get some damage in there, see what it wants to do. Flare Blitz, alright. Super physical. We took that actually. We will be able to take another one of those, which is great. And now we know his physical. Oh wow, that did good. So a decision here whether or not I want to knock him out, or if I want to bring in Quack, knowing his play is absolutely going for another Flare Blitz. Right? Right. So, yeah, like that's the play. He wouldn't go for another Psychic, so I think I have a combination in mind that should work for me. Real Flare Blitz, you never see physical variants of this. This is awesome. I like it. <laughs> there are another Flare Blitz. Gonna easily stomach that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, we're in this. So I figure like he'd be sent headbutt, drain punch, maybe. Um, I'm gonna send in back Dynamo. Like for me, it's very easy to just get drain off. See if he has a different move pool and then keep going at it. Power whip. Alright. This is this is quite a set. I like it. I'm not I'm not overly convinced this is like something you usually see, but this I like this. So firm bolt and knock yourself out, I'm sure. By the way, like, thinking about it, if you want to go physical, I'd probably say going with something like Earthquake would be um, better. And with that in mind, if he had that, that would absolutely have ruined me. Like, a, a Soul Stance variant with um, um, Earthquake, um, Close Combat, and uh, Send Headbutt would probably be perfect coverage. Not that I would hope to face that ever. Reshiram. Oh, you magnificent beast. Turbo Blaze, indeed. Um, now, if I were him, I will wouldn't go for any stabs. I'm going to send in Elish. Really, really hoping it doesn't go for Draco. And I'm going to go for Draco on my own. As this is Eject Button, I should be able to get out. Blue Flare, right? Got to stomach that. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So his play now should absolutely be... Because um, I can't knock him out, for sure. So we should go for Dragon Stab. He switches out, actually. Huh. Two set. Wow. Wow. Alright. I'm game. Um, 
Will it knock it out? I mean, it should do a really good chunk. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Why did he do that though? You have a Mew, like that's... Right? <laughs> you get my eject pack. Basically, this is like a really cool set because the way it works is that I can pressure my opponent to uh, redefine what they want to go with. And I can bring in Erase and really start pressuring here. Because I think I owe Kua Mew. Mew 2, that is, at least on the rain. Unless you Dynamax. Reshiram won't be hitting the field anytime soon. Zergion. Yeah, this is worse. This is way worse, actually. Plus one attack is not pretty. Um, like, do I need this? I like to think so, but at the same time, like getting a lot of damage onto this is gonna be very, very good for me. So, yeah, liquidation, like get the damage in there. We won't knock it out, but we sure as hell will hurt him. Yeah, that's good damage. Close combat, it's gonna ruin me, and there will be nothing to it. That's right, fairy and steel. I have no idea how I want to tackle this properly. I don't Quilio pressure my opponent quite well, but so do, does Elish. But Elish is good for the in-game. Yeah, gonna send in Don Julio and really, really just get the damage in there. Like we need to reset. As far as I'm aware, we really, really need to reset them. The rain, even though I have a few turns on my mind here. Heart pump connects it. That's an easy KO, right? Please be. <laughs> you need to see like how fast does HP bar go? <laughs> because I want to see it go faster. <laughs> right. If he brings in, like I have one idea in mind. Here's Mewtwo. So that's. That means we're not gonna do my first play. Um, but I wanna see how many turns of rain do I have left. Yeah, this is the last turn. So I think one more Hydro Pump is in this place. And, uh, oh, we connected too, so that's really phenomenal. And that does so much. Aura Sphere, huh, so not Stab. We're gonna soak that quite easily. All right. It's gonna send in Quack and then sack play Dynamo. Because you never know if you can shift the withers. But yeah, like Psycho Boost would probably be the one I feared the most. We'll see. Or it keeps going for Aura Sphere. Hmm. Like I said, not sure about that. I can probably like consider whether or not I want to try to wrap up the game, but I'm absolutely sacking Magneton right now. We're Magnet Zone. Let's see. Recover. Yeah, that's not annoying. That's not annoying at all. Um Kind of risky on his side, I think, but Aura Sphere will absolutely take us out, for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Recover made is kind of rough. Recover Aura Sphere, huh. Let's see, what mods were left? Mewtwo, Reshiram. 
Yeah, I will really just get the damage in there. Nice. Connects that one, which is great. Um, probably won't KO, but we get him in the zone. And Psychic will do a whole lot. Yeah, that should have been your first play. Like, Psychic is your number one play for sure. Hit Giga Drain just to get some recovery. Um, I am leveling whether or not I want to sack Dom Julio right now because of the range of HP it's in. And then basically hope that Kingdra can wrap it up for me. It depends on his switching here. Zemizenza. And yeah, Dauntless Shield. I'll say. Hydro Pump, really just hope I connect it. The only positive trait to have here is that I can actually go for a curse with um, never missing Hydro Pump. Lodicolo, you're an absolute beast for this battle, even though you don't kill him. Um, <laughs> Um, because um, I don't know how much damage Zemisenta can do with its uh, Behemoth Blade variant. Uh, it doesn't have Behemoth Blade, but you know, the counterpart of that. But I really, really hope that um, I am somehow faster and can just go for that curse and connect my White Herb and try to wrap up from there. We'll see what happens. He is absolutely faster. Oh, we do not stomach that at all. We did not stomach that at all. Oh, right. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. How many turns of brain do we have? One turn. That means I gotta make this one count. Oh my god. Do I do it? Like, if I Dynamax, I'm not sure I'd speed. I need to Hydro Pump. And I need to reset the rain. Connect it. <laughs> and of course, kill. Oh. Alright, so it boils down to the last matchup. Rain stop, that's unfortunate. My idea was to activate my burden to bring down Reshiram in range because I think Reshiram wins this matchup and there is nothing I can do besides hoping for the best. Um, but my play here is no matter what to sack play Quack. And I think his play is um, Dynamaxing and um, maximizes damage output. And uh, my play is the same, roughly. Here we go. Here we absolutely go. Um, this is probably one of the few times I wish I could max guard somehow. Yeah, I think we lose. And there's nothing I can do. Um, I think my what I did was right, though. I think I did kind of gauge it as far as I could. Um, let's see. If I just... Oh, wait. Let's see. What do these moves do? Do I have anything that lowers, lowers attack? That's not good. Yeah, and that's my strongest move, too. I am faster, but I won't be able to kill it. It is whether or not he can kill me back. Like, do I get enough HP to pressure him more and can pressure me? Because the special attack on Reshiram is ridiculously high, and Kingdra is nowhere close to that, so it could very well fall to the max Worm Breath. I really just hope, if I manage to survive it, that at least I do more than half from him. Because I don't do that, it doesn't matter. We do more. We do more than half. Good. 
So how much does he do? How much does he do? Kingdra, 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 Kingdra managed to live this somehow. We won. We won. We won. I I had full full confidence in Kingdra in this game. Um, absolutely GG my opponent. Um, that was quite the Uber's team and um, you know I win because Rain is so effective if done right and Kingdra is probably the poster boy of that. But uh, Retram is no joke. And my Hitmonlee play might as well actually somewhat ruin me here. It's a close one out and I'll take it because this game was definitely something else. So for everyone watching, that's all the time we're doing this, so don't forget to like and of course you are subscribed, make sure to do that too. And you know as always, take care of one.